In business, Ghana is notably one of the productive countries in Africa when it comes to agriculture. Cocoa is Ghana's principal agricultural export and there are now an estimated 720,000 cocoa farmers. Gosso is one of the leading cocoa producers in the country. Despite this, access to good road networks remain the leading challenge. My colleague Emma Davis visited Gosso, the capital of Ahafo region, and has the rest of the story. It's the capital of the newly created Ahafo region of Ghana. It doubles as the capital of the Snuffle North Municipal District. Gosso has a very rich vegetation cover. It's one of the food baskets in Ghana. The forest cover of the area is very thick and supports various farming activities. The predominant occupation of the residents is farming, mainly cocoa farming and cultivation of food crops. Food production in Gosso is very high as compared to other parts of the country, which led the government to launch one of its flagship programs, the Planting for Food and Jobs, in this town. Today, I visited one of the cocoa farms at Boatiusia, a suburb of Gosso, to taste cocoa right from the tree. I noticed that the farm is well kept and barely had any pests or infected pots. All through Boatiusia, there were cocoa seeds dried up on mats in front of houses. Though they depend on taps and boreholes situated at vantage point, they do not complain about access to water for farming activities. Wednesday is marked as market day. Meanwhile, trading is particularly high in Gorso during the main cocoa seasons. One key challenge that affects trading activities in the town is the state of the roads leading to the markets. Because Gorso is a farming community, food items are relatively affordable. A bowl of fufu with four pieces of goat meat, which could easily pass for 50 cities in Accra, cost 11 cities. Also, tree logging seems to be rampant in the region. However, measures are in place to apprehend illegal loggers. Thus, police barrier station at every 500 meters on the road. My trip to Gosa was an enlightening experience, though I couldn't treat myself to some biscuits because processed foods are quite expensive here.